Hello guys, it is your boy RPG Fans Only Show, and so we're going to be playing Back to Stone here. This is a game I played a lot as a kid. It was very cheap. I think it was like 10 bucks from where I got it from my standing point, though I'm not sure if it's actually 10 bucks nowadays. I'm pretty sure a premium copy, a uh, genuine copy of this game might cost you a little bit more nowadays, but it's definitely a licensed Nintendo game that uh, was a very good game, being one of really very rare um, games that require you to platform and do the same type of things is so so the basis uh, the basic purpose behind this game is that they're just you're this guy who's basically uh, has an inner demon inside of him uh, which you can transform into him sometimes during uh, the later parts of the stages of the game uh, but your, your main ability is being able to turn things to stone hence the name back to stone um, but overall, the game is it's really hard. There's a lot of platforming and puzzle solving, including uh, taking, breaking, uh, turning enemies into stone and putting them in certain places to uh, unlock certain openings. And it's it's hard to explain from just the title screen. I have to actually get into the game to better describe. But uh, I definitely played this game a long time ago. This is a U.S. Uh, I think this is actually a Europe uh, only game. I don't think there was ever a U.S. release for this, but I think there actually was. So I'm just going to on a whim. But there is an intro to the game. You guys can go ahead and decide if you guys want to read this, whatever. You can't really skip it, but I'm not going to sit here for the dialogue. Uh, if you guys want to play this game for yourselves, then you can go ahead and do that and get uh, as much intro uh, content as possible if you do that shit on your own time, in other words. Because <laughs> I don't have the, don't have the patience. Um, but yeah. This game is pretty straightforward. Most of the puzzles in this game are not really hard to solve. It's all about precise precisioning and kind of putting enemies in their correct places um, with precision. So this first part of the game, we're going to start off in a jail cell here. Um, unaware of our actual superpowers here. We just know that we're actually pretty strong. We're actually a uh, failed black magic experiment. And his tans turn living things into stone. So... He's going to make the people who made, made basically made him like this pay. So that's the goal of the game is to make the people pay. And uh, as you can see, it's in Europe because it doesn't have dungeon. It's dungeon. <laughs> um, so in this part, you can just kind of wait around uh, and something will happen. So these guys get thrown in here. These guys are going to be your comrades for like the first second of the game. You you really you really won't see these guys for very long. So, you know, you better get a you better get accustomed and acquainted with them while you can now. Um so hey you get over here be of use open this open this gate yeah i'll do it in a minute let me showcase some things uh so this game is pretty generic uh not generic actually it's far from generic but you do have the ability to move into uh four different directions but you can move into them pretty fast making uh kind of giving the illusion of being a free scroller type of game but it really isn't everything's in a direction as you can see here um you have a jump uh, you have your basic attack, which is used to hit enemies as well as turn them into stone because you have to hit enemies a certain amount of times to be able to turn them into stone. Um, you can also jump attack, which is like a down strike. And this guy is basically a, uh, kind of like a free-floating rock because he does drop down to the ground pretty hard when you attack. Um, so that's pretty much your main attack of the game. Start menu just pauses it. And uh, so let's go ahead and hop in. You do have a meter. I guess you can charge it later on. I haven't played this game since... I want to say 2000, 2001, so it's been a while, it's been a hell of a while, so I'm going to cut this video uh, before I beat this level, I'm just going to get as much um, gameplay footage as possible, um, and so yeah, right here these guys will kill you, well they won't actually kill you if you do touch them. What happens is that they'll lock you up. There'll be a scene where they'll lock you up, and that's basically game over. Uh, so just run away. Say, fuck them. I know most people are going to be curious and try to attack them to see if they can kill them off, but you can't. There is no way around it. You have to run for this first section of the game. And I really love the Back to Stone music. It's very good. Actually, one of the very few, I want to say, the very few good music, uh, very good music on the Game Boy Advance that I... Uh, it's it's really good. It's really it's hard to explain because a lot of Game Boy Advance games really do have good music. But this is one of the, like the genuine like makes you feel the adventure in the game. Like you really feel like you're really exploring, going through this. And you really feel for the character, and so it's it's a lot to take in if you're very used uh, new to these type of games. But if you're used to platformers like me, this game isn't really hard. 
Um, just all about precision. And so we are going to get one of our uh, party members here. He's basically going to be like our kind of like a fairy, kind of like a hint guide person. He's basically just going to um, guide us through uh, the first majority section of the game. Um, okay, I forgot I have to go in here. Okay, so yeah, we got to uh, unlock this guy. I mean, not unlock this guy, but um, break him free. So he's like a weird demon guy. He, he wasn't really graphically designed too well, but um, he looks like a, just a green blob with wings. But he's actually pretty useful as he gives you the majority of hints in the game for solving most puzzles. But he does get kind of annoying because he does disrupt the flow of the game. But you do need him because like I said, without him it gets kind of hard because uh, you will get stuck in some places. Um, so here are the five demons of this world. And they're going to kind of bring out the inner demon in you and kind of show you what it looks like. Um, so if you're excited to see that, if you want to read the dialogue, like I said, you got to play through the game yourself. Um, so, yeah, that's his first demon form. Here's his second, which is his ultimate demon form, which is a big ass beast. Like the sprites in this game are generally big, which is pretty impressive for a GBA game. But then again, most GBA games had massive sprites, so I can't, you know. So they're going to leave us alone and let us enjoy whatever life we have left, which I'm like, hey, fuck it. One thing I have noticed about this game in the Forest of Ancients is that a lot of Germans that play this game do have a little difficulty in this area right here, which is the first dungeon area of the game. It really is pretty simple. Um, the main technique is hitting things and turning them into stone and smacking them over platforms and stuff like that. A lot of platforming, like jumps, um, are very difficult because some people tend to slide off. And if you fall off, you will just lose a bit of health, but you'll start back off. So it's a pretty good... Uh, they at least they at least give you that luxury of being able to restart where you are instead of having to drag you. See, most games will drag you right back to the beginning, which is a bullshit ass tactic. But hey, you can't complain. So like I said, uh, this game is based around turning enemies into stone and moving them for various things. Um, like for instance, I can move this guy all the way up here, um, or I can also just knock him off the edge. But uh, Let me go ahead and wait for another one to pop back in. Okay, so we can just go ahead and knock that over here, jump on that. These are save points, but this game has codes, so you don't really want to save very often. If you're playing it on actual Game Boy, you're going to need those right down those shits ASAP. But I'm playing on an emulator, so I'm not, I'm not doing that. So <clears throat> just keep that in mind. Uh, that's not happening for me. I'm not... <laughs> I have a save state. There's no need uh, for me to do that. So. Um, so, yeah. So, we got to collect these little magic meters that will help uh, increase our magic. These little scroll right here. You got to collect a good majority of them um, just for good measure. Let's go down here. Like I said, there are some tricky platforming parts as well as some uh, some new enemies. These are the only two enemies that you'll be seeing uh, during this gameplay. So get used to these guys. Because they'll be around for a while, guys. Uh, we want to go this way. And these guys do occasionally drop hearts, which uh, do replenish health. So... Make sure if you see those guys, make sure to kill them, especially if you're in a pinch, because they are quite useful. Um, oh, I actually jumped off the side there. So it is pretty hard to actually see. Watch out for these type of enemies, because they do have this like electric attack when you attack them. Um, I just kind of... I just kind of bypass after one attack. <clears throat> but yeah, that enemy has like a... F mad like a shock force field that can... It's kind of damage you and like I said it's kind of grainy for the Game Boy Advance so it's kind of like hard to see where to land and platforming wise it's pretty difficult because you you know you can kind of get a hint but not everything is meant to be stepped on and be touched so it's kind of difficulty finding the key to what needs to be touched okay so right here gonna move that up there it's good and... oh it's all right I'm not even worried about it 
health in this game is pretty abundant. There's guys right here that will restore my health, so it didn't really matter that I took any damage. Uh, but yeah, you can pretty much see the premise of the entire game right there. That is basically what we're going to be revolving around, turning enemies into stone and putting them on different types of slabs and uh, different types of platforms that do different things. So this type of platform right here is a special type of platform. Uh, when you turn enemies into stone, uh, you can actually put them on here. And what it does is it makes the stone uh, last forever. So if you were to normally do this without the platform, the stone will kind of crack over time. Uh, leaving leaving you with some kind of um, difficulty here because you won't be able to exactly uh, oh, let me not push that all the way off there. So these platforms right here excel the um, they excel the uh, they excel the the stone and to do things like that, which help you. Uh... Hold up here. Yeah. Help you unlock certain things. Uh, so this slab, this slab right here, turns enemies uh, into allies. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and sh show that off for you real quickly. So like I said, the the, the, the stone kind of breaks over time, so it's not really that good of, a, of an object to use. But though it can hurt enemies, so keep that in mind, uh, as well as hurt you. Okay, that's a glitch. There you go. Yeah, whatever. I guess it broke before I could, uh... So everything has to be just right with this game. Because this game is pretty difficult when it comes to precision. Ah, uh, yeah, I can't make it in time. Uh, let me just go ahead and uh, show you off this little um, stab here. So it turns a uh, enemy and he just destroys everything. But let me actually get one of these guys to stone before he does that. There you go. Thank you very much. Anything to increase my magic meter. As well as uh, turning enemies into stone can also do uh, significant damage to other enemies. Let me line this up correctly. So yeah, using this stone, I can pretty much smack through a good majority of the enemies here. Oh, what? I thought I made that jump. Apparently, my timing was just a tiny bit off. These enemies do take a little bit more damage and do have a weird uh, movement pattern. They're still generally easy to defeat. Uh, so right here, we got some more platforming uh, sections of the game. Drop that right there. Uh, let me go ahead and push this back over here and drop this down there and that'll destroy all the enemies on the screen. This will only happen for a short sec so I need to make sure that I go down here and grab this. Okay, watch out. Okay, let me go ahead and Okay, now with that in mind, I'm going to head and wait for this guy to respawn. Just drop him on there. Now I can go ahead and collect uh I really don't mind defeating these enemies. They're really not that uh, difficult. They just kind of swarm. So, there it goes. That's a pretty badass uh, animation for that. I do like the way that looks. Very sexy, I must say. If I do say so myself, get the fuck out of here, bro. Get the chest out of here. I wanna go, okay. And so you do take fall damage, so watch out for that. You know, if you don't want to die, uh, just oh fuck, oh wait, what the fuck? Okay, damn. Weird platforming sections. Like I said, I will run into. Well, I haven't said it, but I will run into difficulty uh, throughout this game. 
uh, because there are some platforming parts that are a little bit too tricky. Um, actually, I should have done this first. Um, but it is fine. And so you can't destroy this. Some objects look like you can destroy them, but unfortunately you can't. I don't know why that is. Uh, I've never really looked into that as a kid. Um, mainly just because I was just already kind of shocked about the game being so damn good. Um, never, really, never really understood anything besides that factor. Yeah, you gotta back the fuck up, partner, if you know it's good for you. Because uh, I do hurt. Yeah, stay over there, broken ass. Uh, down here. Okay, we got some more platforming sections. Up here over there. All right, now we have our magic meter uh, charged. So this will have an effect later on. Um, so right now, what we can do is use this blaster technique. That's what you do with your magic. Um, and it's pretty powerful. I should have actually saved that. I just wanted to show that off. Uh, probably shouldn't have done that, but um, this game isn't too hard. That's why I haven't used any save states or anything like that. Uh, generally, because you know, I kind of already played the game before, so do know where majority of things are. And uh, yeah, this game isn't really hard. Like I said, watch out for these guys. They do have like an electrical attack. That yeah, it's kind of like electrical discharge. It will damage the fuck out of you. Okay, so I'm, I know I'm going to have troubles with this guy uh, because I didn't save my magic ability, but, you know. Oh, shit. Okay, that'll charge your shit. Yeah, that's the reason, that's the real reason why I actually uh, shut off the technique oh my god because um you do get some uh gems here so it really doesn't matter if you did use your ability i just needed to showcase it so you guys understood uh, what it did and so it basically obliterates anything that's an enemy will turn into stone anything that's non non i don't know how to say it. can't be turned into stone in a word can't put that into word but anything that can't be turned into stone will be destroyed So yeah, there are many gems in this world. There are red gems, there's obviously the purple ones, there's the green ones, and they're all very useful. Uh, late game, they will be your best friend because um, some enemies do kind of turn up on you. <laughs> uh, you know what that term means. Um, they kind of start cutting up on you, start making you do things that you don't want to normally do, like take a lot of damage, for instance. Uh, so I'm going to play this for like 20 minutes. I'm going to try to get to at least the 20 minute mark with this game. But since we have entered a new area, I'm going to head and end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed part one of Back to Stone. If you guys have, make sure to like, subscribe, give me some feedback. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that like button as well as leave a comment in the section below. And I will see you guys till next time, fans. Enjoy. Bye-bye.